So you want to teach English to foreign students. The first thing you want to want is motivation. Motivation gets you started uh, because if you haven't got that and the drive to teach people and a good listener to pick up where the pronunciation is wrong and correcting people, you're not going to really enjoy it. And this is the whole thing here. You've got to enjoy teaching other people. That, that's the first thing you're going to need. The next thing I recommend is a good computer. <coughs> You're going to need it because a lot of the stuff you're going to teach is going to be on Skype. And as such, you're going to have to keep all your information, your documentation, everything, not only for you, but also to pass it to your um, students because you want them to engage with you. And if they need to go away and read a book for something, they do not need to be talking to you or you sitting there reading another book. What I try to do is actually give students something to do. I've got some working on pronunciation at the moment so I've given them some new words that we worked with a little bit then gave them recordings to go away and practice and then come back to me and we'll go through and see how they've improved. You're not trying to keep them engaged with you all the time. You want to try and build up a bit of a rapport and get them in a specific direction. This is where the TESOL course can be quite important. Although I find it more specific to classes rather than a structured program. Um, so from the one I've done, uh, because I'll discuss TESOL later, but the point being is the key and interest the important bit. Getting your computer is important. Getting a good webcam and good microphone is extremely important. Some of the microphones you come across have too much echo, they're very difficult to hear even when you're talking in your native tongue. So imagine what it's like when you're trying to teach somebody sounds, like t -t -t -t. they can't hear it because there's an echo in there, there's some distortion. Um, I'm not saying spend as much as I, I have here because I actually have a mic that's suited to a stage, complete with a mixer. Um, my setup, I think it was about 300 euros, but investing in a microphone, well, I haven't got one here, um, that, like a Go mic or something, they will improve your quality a lot. Webcams I recommend are the Logitechs. You want a C920, I think the newest ones are C930. The top of the range ones they do. The webcam's good, the audio is good. It means you can do it all in one. Uh, also means if you've got a, a laptop, you can just hook it up and put it onto the laptop. Next thing is you need a good set of headphones. The headphones I recommend are the ones often come with the mobile phones, the Samsung ones or the uh, iPhone ones, because the quality is normally pretty good. Um, otherwise, you want to be spending at least £15 getting yourself a decent set of headphones that are pretty crystal clear, because you're looking for hearing the sounds like that and other issues in pronunciation, etc., where you're trying to make sure that the sounds are correct, and you can only do it with a good set of headphones to get the crisp sound. Um, as you can hear in the background, I've got my daughter making a racket next door. Um, that's another reason. So you can filter out all that sound and just concentrate on your student. Resources wise, things like our new website will actually become very useful because there'll be entire training programs put there that are broken down into different age groups, different abilities, uh, different skills and it should simplify some of the teaching processes for a lot of teachers as well as students because it should be easy to find but also things like quizzes and things like that will be in there so you can actually utilize it as a teaching tool you'll also have youtube videos in there that you can put together with your student because obviously you want to be focusing on specifics with your student and not spending too much time on stuff that they can do on their own. You, you want to be more of a tutor rather than sitting there watching them read a book, etc. So this is why it's important to use things like the website because you've got to remember a lot of these people have a fixed budget and it's much, much more valuable for them to take something away from you each lesson that they can practice on their own and come back to you. 
uh, than you sitting there giving them a lot of information that's costing them money on the clock. So this is why having these resources is also important. Uh, so they can go away and learn something, come back and check it's right, etc, etc. Um, so let me know what you think and hopefully our website will be up and running very soon so those resources will start to build over a short period of time and hopefully we'll have a lot more engagement and I'm looking forward to meeting some of you guys. Thanks for watching.